five. All right, we're looking at the radar this morning, a little uh, thunderstorm way up uh, toward the eastern shore, the Delmarva area, but high pressure is dominating, so it's pretty quiet. A little energy may sneak through there again this afternoon, so that could trigger a spotty shower or storm later, but this is our next main event. This cold front is going to come through here later tomorrow and cool things off for us by Friday, but it's going to bring some showers and storms also. Uh, the severe threat today extends from New York through western PA. What is that? Maybe Newcastle, Pennsylvania, Youngstown, Ohio, down toward Columbus, and then picks up again around north of Little Rock through Oklahoma City and Lubbock, Texas. That's where the strong storms are expected today. Tomorrow they'll be around here. 73 right now with a dew point of 68. It's going to be another hot humid day, a little more humid than yesterday, mostly sunny. Uh, again, we, we could see a little spotty shower or storm later today. Better chances come tomorrow. Mostly clear tonight, 71 degrees. Still going to be another warm, kind of humid night tonight. So tomorrow's energy then from Richmond and northward, a slight risk, a little lower risk in green. That would be uh, around the Tri-Cities and southward toward Emporia. So today, as I mentioned, maybe a couple little spots, a little weak energy we will try to pass through and organize. But it's tomorrow where the showers and storms will pass through any time from the afternoon through the evening hours. And then things will start to improve for us by Friday with some cooler temperatures coming in. 90s, 90s, 80s after the front. As far as the tornado threat, it looks low and it's going to be up to the north tomorrow, though. Some of our northern county, King George, maybe some of those areas, you'll be under a low threat tomorrow for a tornado. All right, 80s, though, right into uh, the middle of next week, which is good, 50s to low 60s at night.